7k into the Croce Downey from the turn there and the last three or four kilometers have been pretty much downhill or flat so you kick up from the turn and you've got two or three k which rises and then the road starts to get a bit narrower um, and descends before starting to climb again for the Paso Real or on a real steep section here it must be up around about 15% it's difficult just keeping the gear turning over it's, it's a good climb actually there's there's different sections you start off right at the bottom it's it's really quite gradual and you get into a good rhythm um, a couple of tunnels at the bottom there that are quite dark um, and then you come into a kind of hairpin sections where it's it's a bit steeper really, um, you get a little bit of respite as you come out of the hairpin, it tends to be a bit flatter but quite quickly the kind of gradient kicks up again. I, do, I find that uh, halfway up the climb the, the road surface changes and it's very smooth tarmac so it starts to get slightly easier there. Well we're about a kilometre here into the Paso Duran and it's been quite a tough start, it's probably about 8-10% to gradient just straight up. So just a few things to note about coming into the centre of Feltre here. You finish in the old town of Feltre, there's, uh, there's quite a few cobbled streets that you need to negotiate on the way in. So if it's wet, just uh, pay attention to that and, and be cautious because you don't want to get this far and come off on the last corner just, as you, just before the Arrivo.